Let's more precisely describe Dijkstra's algorithm. Many of the assumptions from the spanning tree algorithm carry over to this lesson, but there are a few changes. Dijkstra's algorithm uses the edge weight to calculate a node's distance, so the edge representation now includes the weight as follows. Also, nodes now include the distance from the origin and the parent index as follows. Distance is the sum of edge weights from the root to the node, and the parent index is the backwards index of the parent node in the shortest path tree. Recall that the spanning tree node contains children rather than the parent. As with the spanning tree algorithm, we begin with properties that find the neighbors or children of a node. Property 1 says, if left is not equal to v and right is not equal to v, then the output of the find neighbors function where the input graph is edge left right weight and then the rest, node is v, and children are result, is equal to the output of the same function where the input graph is rest, node is v, and children are result. If left is equal to v, then we pop from the input graph and we push a new pair with the right value and the weight. If right is equal to v, then we again pop from the input graph and we push a new pair to the children with the values left and the weight. If the input graph is empty, then the output of the function is the result. In the spanning tree algorithm, we just push the child node value to the result. But here, we're adding the pair child value and weight to the result, because we also need the edge weight to calculate the distance from the origin. For example, try using the properties above to prove that the output of the find neighbors function, where the input graph is edge 0140371263211 and node is 0 and children are empty is equal to the stack pair 37 and pair 14 Next here is the property that tells us how to find the children of a specific node in the shortest path tree if the length of stack t minus 1 minus back i is equal to i, and the element at index i of stack t is equal to the node v distance and parent i, then children of the node at backwards index back i of tree t in graph g is equal to the output of the find neighbors function where the input graph is g, node is v, and children are empty. Try using this property to prove that the children of the node at backwards index 0 of tree node 0, 0, none in graph edge 0, 1, 4, edge 0, 3, 7, edge 1, 2, 6, and edge 3, 2, 1 is equal to the stack pair 3, 7 and pair 1, 4. First, we can show that the length of stack node 0, 0, none minus 1 minus 0 is equal to 0. And the element at index 0 of stack node 0, 0, none is equal to node 0, 0, none. Then we can claim that the children of the node at backwards index 0 of tree node 0, 0, none in graph edge 0, 1, 4, 0, 3, 7, 1, 2, 6, and 3, 2, 1 is equal to the output of the find neighbors function where the input graph is the same set of edges, node is 0, and children are empty. And we have already shown that the output of the find neighbors function, where the input graph is edge 014, 037, 126, and 321, node is 0, and children are empty, is equal to the stack pair 37 and pair 14. Next, let's see how we can update the shortest path tree with the neighbors we just found. We need to first separate the neighbors into two groups. One, 
If the tree already contains the neighbor, add it to the existing group. Two, if the tree does not contain the neighbor, add it to the new group. To separate the neighbors, we first convert the separate operation to the separate nodes function. Result of splitting pairs into nodes that exist in tree T and new nodes equals the output of the separate nodes function, where the input tree is T, the nodes are pairs, the existing group is empty, and the new group is also empty. And here are the properties that describe the separate nodes function. 1. If the expression tree T contains val is equal to false, then we pop from the nodes and we push it to the new group. Property 2 says that if the index of value val in T is equal to index, then we once again pop from the nodes but this time we push to the existing group. Property 3 says that if the nodes are empty, then the output of the separate nodes function is equal to the pair exist and new. If we can get the index of node val in the tree, then val must exist in the tree. Note that we add the node index to the existing group. In contrast, we add the node value to the new group. For example, try using the properties above to prove that the result of splitting stack pair 26 pair 04 into node that exist in the tree and new nodes is equal to the pair pair 24 and pair 26. Since the tree does not contain node 2, pair 26 is added to the new group. Since node 0 is at index 2 of the tree, pair 24 is added to the existing group. Then we process the existing neighbors. If the newly calculated distance is less than the current node distance, we update the node with a new distance, else the node stays unchanged. Next, we pop the existing group and repeat with the next neighbor. More precisely, if the element at index child i of stack t is equal to node child value, child d, and child p, and pd plus weight is less than child d, and the result of storing node child value, pd plus weight, pi, at index child i of stack t is equal to updated t, then the result of updating nodes pair child i and weight and rest in tree t with parent index pi and parent distance pd is equal to the result of updating nodes rest in tree updated t with parent index pi and parent distance pd. Property 2 says that if the element at index child i of stack t is equal to node child value, child d, and child p, and pd plus weight is greater than child d, then we simply pop the pair from the nodes. Let's try to use the properties above to prove that the result of updating nodes pair 37 and pair 01 in tree node 2101, 370, 140, and 009 with parent index 2 and parent distance 7 is equal to the stack node 282, 370, 140, and 009. We first consider pair 37. The node at index 3, which is 00 none, currently has distance 0. Since 7 plus 7 is greater than 0, we claim the following. Notice that we simply pop the pair 3, 7 from the nodes, but everything else remains the same. Next, we consider pair 0, 1. The node at index 0, which is 2, 10, and 1, currently has distance 10. Since 7 plus 1 is less than 10, we can update node 2101 to 282. 
Thus, we can claim the following. Notice that the pair 0, 1 has been popped, and the node 2, 10, 1 has been updated to node 2, 8, 2, but everything else remains the same. Next, let's process the new children, but first, we need to know how to add them to the tree. Property 1 says that the result of pushing nodes pair value weight and rest into tree t where parent is index and parent distance is distance is equal to the result of pushing nodes rest into tree node value distance plus weight and index and t where parent is index and parent distance is distance. Property 2 says that the result of pushing empty nodes into tree t where parent is index and parent distance is distance is just t. Try using the properties above to prove that the result of pushing nodes pair 2, 6 into tree node 3, 7, 0, 1, 4, 0, and 0, 0, none where parent is 1 and parent distance is 4 is equal to the stack node 2, 10, 1, 3, 7, 0, 1, 4, 0, and 0, 0, none. Next, let's try combining the neighbor processing functions. The following property shows how we can integrate the node update and push operations. If the length of stack t minus 1 minus back i is i, and the element at index i of stack t is equal to the node value, distance, and pi, and the result of splitting pairs into nodes that exist in the tree t and new nodes is equal to the pair exists and new, and the result of updating nodes exists in tree t with parent index back i and parent distance distance is equal to updated then the result of adding or updating children pairs of the node at backwards index back i in tree t is equal to the result of pushing nodes new into the tree updated, where parent is back i and parent distance is distance. Let's try to prove that the result of adding or updating children pair 2, 1 and pair 0, 7 of the node at backwards index 2 in tree node 2, 10, 1, 3, 7, 0, 1, 4, 0, and 0, 0, none is equal to the stack node 2, 8, 2, 3, 7, 0, 1, 4, 0, and 0, 0, none. First, we can show that the index is 1, and the node at index 1 is node 3, 7, 0. Then we can show that the children, values 2 and 0, both already exist in the tree. More precisely, the result of splitting pair 2, 1, pair 0, 7 into nodes that exist in the tree node 2, 10, 1, 3, 7, 0, 1, 4, 0, and 0, 0, none, and new nodes is equal to the pair, pair 3, 7, and pair 0, 1, and the empty list. The result of updating the tree with the existing group is node 2, 8, 2, 3, 7, 0, 1, 4, 0, and 0, 0, none. There are no new nodes, so the push nodes operation does not add new nodes to the tree. We now have all the tools to build the shortest path tree. First, convert the shortest path operation to the shortest path function call. In other words, shortest path from node v to every other node in graph g is equal to the output of the shortest path function where the input graph is g, backwards index is 0, and tree is node v0, none. Notice that the shortest path tree initially has one node, the root, with value v, distance 0, and no parent. Now we can recursively build a tree as follows. If the children of the node at backwards index i of tree t in graph g is equal to cs, and the result of adding or updating children cs of the node at backwards index i in tree t is equal to new tree, 
then the output of the shortest path function where the input graph is g, backwards index is i, and tree is t, is equal to the output of the same function where the input graph is still g, backwards index is i plus 1, and the tree is new tree. We update the tree with children, then move on to the next node. As with the spanning tree algorithm, we are finished when the backwards index is equal to the size of the shortest path tree. For example, assuming that g is equal to the edge 014, 037, 126, and 321, let's use the shortest path properties to prove that the output of the shortest path function, where the input graph is g, backward index is 0, and tree is node 0, 0, none, is equal to the output of the same function, where the graph is still g, backwards index is 0 plus 1, and the tree is node 370, 140, and 0, 0, none. We can show that the children of the node at backwards index 0 of the tree node 0, 0, none in graph G is equal to the pair 3, 7 and pair 1, 4. We can also show that the result of adding or updating children pair 3, 7, pair 1, 4 of the node at backwards index 0 in the tree node 0, 0, none is equal to the tree node 3, 7, 0, 1, 4, 0, and 0, 0, none.